Hello, I'm Leo. I'm the founder of The Garden. This is the wonderful Amanda. She's the best therapist that I know, as well as a wonderful person. My work is as a natural health practitioner. So we're looking at a different approach to medicine, uh, working with their body's innate healing ability. I was born in London and my earliest memories were to do with wonder and awe, being close but not quite here, something feeling wrong. As I got older I understood that what was wrong was society, that the world I'd been born into was fake and unfulfilling. It's set up in such a way as to block us from actualising our power and our happiness. We're disconnected from truth, from nature, each other, from ourselves. This was the start of the garden forming in my heart. Our parents who taught us were taught by the same system. We're not taught how to truly succeed in life, how to be physically and mentally healthy, how to grow vital food and eat for optimum health and longevity, how to build a home, how to have beautiful, uplifting relationships with ourselves and with others, how to continue to play and to find magic as we got older. In fact, uh, of course, we taught the opposite, to accept jobs we don't love, to crave junk, to normalise dissatisfaction, to get heart disease and cancer, and that that's normal, even though something in us knows that there's more. It took me a while to shed the layers of ignorance and disempowerment and to re-engage with myself. I knew helping others was a big part of the reconnection, plus it obviously just feels right and good. So first I started a career in healthcare. Travelling in India, I decided to be a children's doctor. I changed paths when I saw that accident and emergency nurses have better impact on patients. But in 11 years working in hospitals, I saw no cures, no prevention of disease, no health education, no empowerment, basically no health. It's a disease model that profits only from selling drugs. Still, I explored the field as best and as thoroughly as I could. I joined a charity creating pilot schemes for the NHS. I became a health lecturer. I was a health advisor to the BBC for two years. I was invited by the UK government to advise on a white paper on health. And through all of this, I saw more and more the breakthroughs and the power of holistic health, of looking at the patient individually with caring, tailored interventions and health plans that consider our unique psychology, their history, our diet, our stresses, our sleep habits, all habits, our relationships, our exposure to pollution and poisons, and I started coaching on naturopathy and nutrition. I was a disaster relief volunteer for two years in Sri Lanka after the tsunami in Nepal after the earthquake. I was medical head of an orphanage. I worked alongside governments, UN agencies, big NGOs. I saw how it was grassroots charities that made all the difference. A sense of community and compassion I'd never experienced before. I saw love in action. So I joined those grassroots charities and I ended up being health advisor to nine charities in three countries. And all of this only made it clearer that what the human world needs is a place that takes the best of all these things where people in need can come and be served and cared for for free by dozens of passionate volunteer therapists. So I set about gathering the team, activated, engaged people for the world's first free, holistic, multidisciplinary health centre we came to call The Garden. My name is Lizzie Jenkins. I am Paul Curtis. I'm now. My name is Midas. I'm Karen. My name is Nuno. My name is Oliver. My name is Sophia. Hi, my name is Robert. My name is Stephanie. My name is Peter Radford. Hi there. Hi. My name is Stefano. Holistic. Hey, people everywhere. I am Greta Hennessy. The man who's doing it, Leo. Uh, this is a lion. And so here I am in Portugal, fundraising and land hunting. We found some beautiful land patches for sale with waterfalls, old trees, nature as far as the eye can see. Places we felt uplifted and rejuvenated just being there. 
The garden will also run events, empowering courses in health, permaculture, nutrition, fun workshops, seminars, talks. Already some well-known inspiring experts are asking when they can come. That people can pay to be part of that will allow the garden to be financially sustainable. Able to benefit all species. We have animal carers too and an amazing vet, maybe the best in the world, really. She teaches universities all over the world how to improve the veterinary science curriculums, and she couldn't be more caring and passionate. So, where are we at? What's needed? Well, we now have about 140 and growing, skilled and caring volunteers ready. Some really great people with some great hearts. Uh, we have the drive, we have the societal structure, the mission, a lawyer, an architect, wonderful green architect, business plan, a seven phase building plan. The garden also needs to be heard. It's a world first, a massively significant and needed revolutionizing venture, but people have to know it exists. We need donations to help with the land purchase, the little eco hobbit houses for all the visitors, and the infrastructure. So everyone who understands and appreciates the unprecedented service provision we're ready and happy to share needs to give one euro or pound or dollar or ten or a million and post the garden website or crowdfunder or Instagram link on your social media as that's the way it's done these days. And if you want to get involved in person you can contact us through the website or email address. This is a collaborative expansion. The vision is that this first garden is a societal blueprint and will inspire people to be part of this better way of living and even to create other gardens, other living service centres, gardens all over the world. You know, this is it, this is the way we come together, join forces, skilled people teaching and uplifting others and all of us experiencing a lot of joy and hugs and bubble machines and organic smoothies in the process. And be immersed in love in a beautiful eco-village we'll make in a sunny corner of Europe Together, Together we, can we can make, make this a reality. reality.